Welcome to Kitty Place Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty with wet fur, and I'll be the host for this episode. Wet fur because, as you can see, it is raining. <laughs> I did tell that I like water in a previous episode, and that's true, but I don't like rain. But I do like rain, actually, but I don't like getting rained upon. So let's let's head on over to... Towards Gnesis while I'm talking. Um, so... I don't look like getting rained upon. With two exceptions. One exception is there is this... There is this place, this... Like, like... This little room, very, very small room usually. Where there comes... You have this lever in the wall, and when you pull it, there it comes very warm, nice and warm rain from the ceiling. That's nice rain. That's that I like that a lot, actually. And the second kind of rain that I like is when you're in an outdoor pool. And you're in the water, and the water is warm because the pool is heated. And then it starts to rain. And it only rains on your head and your face. That's actually also a very, very nice feeling. But apart from that, I really, really hate being rained upon. I mean, it, it drenches your fur, and you have to... You know, with, with fur like that, you don't... You can't just take a towel and rub yourself dry. It'll still stay damp. I know... People, yeah, I, you know, I know what you think. Yeah, he's a furry. He's talking about his fur. Blah blah blah. Um, well, you haven't seen me in real life. I actually am really furry in real life, also. Um, so, yeah, I can't just towel dry off and then put on clothes because I'm still damp. I need to like stay in the open for a while. So you, like, you usually in the morning after the morning shower, I sit in the on the in front of the computer for like five minutes naked because else the, my clothing would get wet. Yeah, so you can imagine that's that's not a nice thing. You don't want that. So yeah, it's an icky feeling. So this is this is the city of Nisus. Oh, it says go this way. Let's go this way. Or maybe we should even walk this way. <clears throat> sorry, not sorry. Yeah, I could have just, you know... It's kind of weird, because this is Gnesis. No, ah, this is Alphaloti. I'm sorry, I... Ah, it wants me to go that way. <laughs> so this is Alphaloti. There is, um, there is also a quest that leads me into this ruin that was the one with the find the husband with the central rule. I actually forgot one. This is find the wife taken by the cultists near Ald Veloti. So in this Daedric Shrine, no I don't want to, well, anyhow. In this Daedric Shrine there are cultists hidden away. And I forgot to close that again, so I can interact with people in the chat on Twi over on Twitch. So this is, okay. I do remember. So I did start playing this um, on a Discord server together with two friends. Like they were watching, we were talking while I played. And then I thought, well, I could also do this in a Kitty Place season. And yeah, here I am doing this in a Kitty Place season. And this is what also something I did back, well, let's say, three or four months back on the Discord server. So I do remember part of it. But as you might notice, my, um, my memory isn't the best. So let me 
see the next signpost, which is over there. If I need to go up here and cross that bridge, but this looks more like a dwarven bridge, so I think this is wrong. Oh, what is this? Oh, I know this quest. I'm not going to. Well, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to activate the quest and write a little short notice. So she wants me to help her. Ah, oh, hello there. I was hoping a handsome young gentleman like yourself. Oh, thank you, handsome. She calls me handsome. What would happen by? Might you take a moment to help a lady in distress? Isn't it normally a damsel in distress? Well, are you a lady in distress? Well, I dropped my ring and I can't seem to find it. I think it must have rolled down into this pool here, but I can't go to get it because I'm expected to miss it shortly. You see, I'm a private dancer. Dancer for money. I can't very well smell like icky muck water now, can I? Would you please get it for me? The water is not very deep and I'd be very grateful and in your debt. Oh, it would be my pleasure. Oh, thank you. When I finish dancing this evening, perhaps we can get together and discuss your reward. Oh my god. Uh, sorry, no, you're... You're not my type. I'm... Actually what interested. can I do for you, friend? More in the people from the warm places, you know. Ah, you can actually see him. So yeah, what's what's good? I never saw him before, that's weird. So what's actually going to happen once that you pick up the ring, she and his comp her companion is, are going to attack you. So I'm going to also write this down. This is something a bit, you, you basically manage this by killing them, but I, yeah, if, to put a name to it, I'm afraid. So, um, fish out the ring from the pond north of Gnesis. Oh, this is quite the backlog of quests here. Well, let's head to Gnesis. I hope that they have some teleport mechanism things there. So I can use the Silt Strider or something like that. Yeah. Because I don't want to have to walk back all that way. If I need to walk back all that way, I'm going to do this. Like, I'm going to cut this away, pause the recording or something. Because you didn't need to see this. Like, it's always the same. It doesn't change. And I promise this time I'm not going to forget to start recording again. Like I did between the last episodes. So there is another camp. I'm pretty sure those are hostile too. Like nearly everyone in this game is hostile to you. If they're not in the city or something. Let's go. Gnesis, and then from Gnesis we need to go a little bit further even, or a little bit back again, I don't know if we need to head to this, um, to this place we need actually need to make the pilgrimage to, and place the offering on the shrine. And then the last one is to go to the ghost gate, or to go inside the ghost fence actually, which is pretty dangerous because in there is the um, light disease. So if you're attacked by an enemy, you can actually just light or copper. So you can contract this one disease, disease which basically is unhealable in this game. So everyone will tell you, oh, you've contracted it, I don't want to talk to you again. And oh, this is, this is, I think this is new. I think this is content. That's been added by one of the mods. This house here. Curious. Oh, it just is the hut of someone. That's Max Sponge here. I can harvest it. We'll go and get this dirt around it. This nice icky sound. Okay, let's see. 
let's head into pieces and see what we have what we can find and maybe we can sell something oh look at this this clearly is a temple which I'm currently trying to become a part of so you always have to honor tradition there is a silk starter, yay! Okay, this is pretty awesome. I'm not going to just when I want to barter with someone. Oh, okay. He only buys clothing. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm for yawning. I haven't slept that long because I woke up as if I had to work, which is not that nice. For now, I'm just going to sell all of these. I need to actually train. Oh, that was too much. Oh no, that's that's my goal. I'm sorry. I. Actually, mistook her gold and my gold. I thought she only had 35 gold. Let's do this. Let's sell all of these. I'm wondering. Yeah, I'm also, go I'm also going to go to sell these later because. I don't believe that they will... Uh, I, I will need them later, yes, but I don't believe that I'm going to use them now. 20 of these. Very nice. And I'm going to ask for 155 gold, which she did. Thank you. Okay, now I need to... Real quick, I'm going to check in the options. Controls, which was the button to... The quick menu was F1. Just to set the bow inventory. The bow. And... Select these as my current ammunition for the world. She has. Well, I'm, I do have the unarmored skill. That's a tech war. And he is also a tech war. Wealth beyond measure. Thank you, Mr. Peck War. What a most peculiar name you have. Trade house. Do I have something I want to trade? Yeah, I want to try and trade my alchemy equipment. I think I bought it way too early in the game. This is an imperial trade house, it seems. Well, it says it has, it has a fort, so it's no wonder. What do you want? Oh. He, he, he told me something about the master feedback, which is actually what I'm looking for. Which is at the temple. Oh, I think I need to sell that in the in a major guild. Well, it's not a problem. I can just uh, use the silk strider. I do have money now, but let's head into the temple and let's then see what we need to do. In the temple, the Dunmer Temple also means out of the river. If you want something, people now's here. the time to talk. Well, looks pretty weird, but let's move into you. Yeah, I want to see if I can buy and sell something with you. Does it look like it? How about you? What do you sell and buy? Doctor. Also, no things that I can use, but they can repair things, and let's just repair the weapons that we have. 
just in case. I don't want them to break. Okay, so let us see the pilgrimage. It is customary to leave a portion of dry wax, however you pronounce that word, dry, 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 thing, wax. Okay, I need to get that. I mean, I sold everything that I had, but usually the temple sells you things that you need. There it is. One single portion, please, which is very expensive. Wow. I tried to barter a little bit here, which worked. Let's see, we want to go to the mass of Vivek, which might be in the center of the temple, either below or on top. Oh, uh, so let's see what spells I can get. Turn on that. Absorb health, on touch. That's also interesting, absorb health. But it's only like 10 points for one second, so this means 10 hit points are removed from the enemy and added to my hit points. That's not, not, so, not so useful for me. Let's check what the spark do. It is 2 to, two to 20 points. So it varies a lot. Okay, let's see over here. Should be the upstairs. Yes, there it is. Because there is I need to approach from here. There is the mask of Vivek. There it is. Citizen, move along. Um, I'm just, you know, basking in the glory of the ma the ash mass. By the living. three, my rights and duty. There's the shrine. Here in Genesis, Vivek made a potion to cure oh, a no, villager who had fallen so ill, but could not pay for the healing of the temple. Vivek promised that the temple would always cure those who could not pay, and left his sacred mask here as a sign of that promise. this wrong citizen so what I'm looking for is one of these little shrine things or is this a glitch and the quest is not working out properly I don't hope that this is the case. Yeah, it may be bought at the Temple of Ignisus when you address the shrine, it's customary to give a portion. Hmm. Ah! It is inside the coal cave, not the ash mask is here, but I'm not going to find the ash mask. Instead, I am going to go to the coal cave, which is, and I did say this earlier actually already, and I forgot. So the coal cave is west of the ancient stronghold Verandas and south of Nisus. So basically, I just need to. Head out towards the side. If you want something, now's the time to talk. Back into the rain. Well, I need to head to the other side here. Somehow. Speak, traveler. Let's just. Let's just check what we can find here. I think this guy's also. Go ahead, stranger. Beachcraft, light armor, and sea. No, sorry. And you can 
can send me to Dolmora. I think this is a mod that, um, so there are so many mods, this is a mod that gives me the travel from within the blades. If there's someone in, in the water. Is this a glitch? Are you glitched? Hynab stole my pants! That sounds more like a norb. It's very hard. I, I, I can't do this this voice that they did for the Eshenis. Hynab stole my pants! Something like that. I was taking a bath at Hynab. Lazami stole my pants. Maybe you should talk to him and get my pants back. Well, I'm going to see if I can help you. Hainab Lasami, you say. Can you maybe tell me where, where he is? No. No, he can't. Okay, people, so I need to apologize yet again, especially since you might have noticed that the sound quality changed. My microphone stopped working while I was recording this, so I'm actually now recording a voiceover. This, this might actually get pretty weird because I... Yeah, it, it won't be very... or that much synchronous. And I don't know by heart what exactly I was doing and talking about since this is already a few days later. But we are still looking for the pants thief here in Gnesis. And, um, yeah, maybe he's up there. I know that in a previous playthrough I actually should have known where he is, but, uh, yeah, can't remember, so let's look up here. There's only a guy with a torch, Vardendrel, who has, well, nothing interesting. Speak, Tell traveler. Us. And then there is an elf selling food, it seems. Also, I'm not going to be reading um, the text, or I might actually pause the video when I do so. Uh, <clears throat> because, yeah, timing. Okay, maybe I find his house. So this is a house that I can enter. Let's take a look at what's inside. Okay. There is this door and this rat. Why is, it Why is it not attacking me? Well, let's prepare. Okay. It's still not attacking me. That's weird. Hmm. Okay, now the red attacks me. That's... Well, uh, it must have been a glitch. It is an Elder Scrolls game, after all. Okay, one advantage of this is I can talk for the fight where I'm normally so concentrated that I can talk. It looks like this is this is actually some kind of tomb or something. I don't want to be exploring a tomb. I'm looking for the pants thief. And this clearly was not their house. Floating grass. And passing the floating grass. Let's take a look around. There is someone walking there. Maybe they are the pants thief. No, no, it's a different name. Okay. I honestly can't remember if it was inside if we find their hut or if they're hanging around somewhere. Oh, wait a second. Looks like that guy. That's him. Yeah, he's hiding there. So, what about the pants? Speak, traveler. <laughs> he really hates Hentus, who he stole the pants off. Well, I think we need to persuade him to get the pants off of him. No, that wasn't enough. Hmm. Okay, maybe try some more. But I don't want to spend all of my money on persuasion. So let's try a little bit more. Oh, that actually that actually made it do this. And that made it even worse. Okay, I I should uh I should wait until I have a, a way to charm him. I need to learn some kind of charm spell, else uh I won't get the pants off Mac. Of course could I could try pickpocketing him. But on the other hand, that means I need to have that uh, skill or some kind of spell that... Wait a second, I could use the Paralysis spell. That would be kind of interesting. Yeah, that would be an interesting idea, using the Paralysis spell. I just checked 
yeah, basically, if I have the uh, the ability, the spell ability to charm someone, but I don't, but maybe I can use a paralysis spell on him and then kind of sneak around him so it doesn't get notified when I pickpocket them. But I just noted down that we need to do this quest and we're going on, we're heading on. I don't want to basically lose too much time. I want to finish the pilgrimage and get become a proper temple member. So we're going past the fort of Kinesis. I know that um, we need to go on the other side of the river. And maybe there's a bridge Save over here. Nope, that's Oh, this could be the cold cave. Let's just let's just cross the water and check out that place. Uh, oh, and flowers. Of course, I need to pick all the flowers and drop a quick save because obviously I'm a coward. Can I take this? No, this is nothing. Okay, let's swim over. And there is a slaughter fish. Not an easy thing to fight in the water. This is really annoying. Come on, I already fish. Oh. It's interesting that I actually didn't electrocute myself in the water here. But, uh, it seems to work. Okay, I don't have enough magic, I just do myself. That was too fast, and now we are here. And there's the entrance. Let's see if this is the entrance to Koke. We are still pretty slow in the water. I know that there is a spell effect called Swift Swim. Maybe we need to create a spell for that. Oh, no, it's a two. No tombs. Nope, not yet. We are really, really weak. Um, yeah, we need to be on this island. That much I already know. Or remember, that is. As I said, I've already played this. I actually played it through, as I think I mentioned already. But I haven't played as a Temple Scholar before, so... Okay, so this is this is this Barnaby Barnabas thing place that they were talking about. So Barandas, that's the name yeah. To the east or west or something. Ah, I'm so bad at remembering things. And I'm being attacked by a red. Where of course I need multiple spell casts just to kill it. On. Ah running out of magic card just for a single rat. That's a bit embarrassing. Uh, I think I should ditch all of these with the alchemy stuff and rebuy it later in order to get more money and buy buy better gear for now and buy better spells. I should concentrate on the spells for now. One thing at a time. I should become a proper spellcaster. And then do the alchemy thing. Okay, let's go past these ancient ruins here. Of verandas. Yeah, it is verandas. Uh, basically, when I played, I didn't know the name until now. And there on the map, it's, it's actually the cool cave entrance, so it's to the left. Since I always mix up the cardinal directions without, especially when I don't use the uh, the German um, sentence that goes with it, which translates to "never wash without soap," because the first letters of each word in German are N O S W, which is the German equivalent for North, East, South, West. And I actually don't know any... Wait, 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 this got failed. Why did... 
it seems like a. Could it be that I can't cast a spell while underwater? And now I'm not underwater technically for the game. That's basically another glitchy thing, right? It should be. It should be that I don't hurt the fish anyhow. Maybe because I guess that's the whole idea. And I want to rest and count. So we need to quickly head over. Yeah, it's still upgrade. Okay, these are basically just a whole bunch of nothing. Come on, past me. Go and rest. Head to the shore for the next fish attacks. He's swimming again. <sighs> Nighty of the past is really. If you use up all your magic for killing spells that don't work on the water, you don't need to wonder if you don't have enough magic to heal yourself. Thank you very much. Oh, there is something back there. Let's check if this is okay. Let's get there somehow. And we're painfully slow in the water. Do we have something for faster? No. It seems like we have nothing for faster swimming, but we can like restore health and magic using potions. Not too bad. I need some kind of teleportations. Well, and the Ring of Healing that I somehow failed to use. It's the one of Fargo that we cut at the beginning. And there he is trying to cast underwater again. Why did that take so long to understand that it simply doesn't work in the water? Yeah, like I, tried to sell, I, I think I'm still going to try casting the magic underwater just to see if it is just me failing or if it's just too hard or uh, if, if it's just me failing or if it's just not possible I mean it's not that, it, that the game says you can't cast that spell underwater or you can't cast magic underwater but that, that would be helpful and of course I nearly never hit with a dagger I'm a mage after all Maybe I should get some kind of deflecting spell or something, so when I go for the water, the fish will hit themselves or something. Look how fast that fish is. Wow. That's weird. That's really fast. Okay, first healing. Of course, it fails because I'm a novice me. Noob, as they say. Another fish. Now I'm trying to just cross the water and ignore all the fish. I just want to be on the other. Ah, just, but it's not helping to it. I'm losing too much health at once. Come on, steady, steady, steady. It's so hard. So the thing is that it's not that hard to actually hit the fish, but that the game rolls the dice whenever you hit the fish to determine if you actually hit it. So they luckily removed that in Oblivion. So let's head to the shore. Out of the water. Fish can't attack me now. And it's still not focused. Okay. okay, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to actually end the episode here because it's uh, been far too long and I'm going to check out where to go in the next episode so yeah we're still trying to find the cold cave we managed to get to Gnesis so yeah stay tuned to the next episode the dice roll will tell you when this episode will be so what I say for now is bye bye